coming up on Becoming Jalen Dark. I got my swagger back. I got my swagger back. Uh, it was just, I was at the breaking point. I couldn't take it. I was like, what? This just isn't going to happen. This, I had two more hours, y'all. I had two more hours. It was way too much. <laughs> I think the truth is being I never imagined that I would have withdrawn from a class. Curious girl in a big and scary world And I don't know exactly where to go I don't know who I am but I know who I'll be Because I'm embracing the inner adult to me I just look and see all my friends getting married And I'm like, wait, how are you getting married? married? I don't know, but things surely are changing as I'm kind of, you know, becoming Jalen and Darby. and Darby. Becoming Jalen and Darby. and Darby. Hey, don't be a silly goose. Subscribe to Jalen Darbs on YouTube for more. Alright, y'all can turn up my music now. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Jaylen, okay? I had to come to y'all my real estate. This is me, okay? All right, let's get into the video. Lately, your girl has just been finding her confidence. She's been loving on herself, okay? She is learning to accept the things that she doesn't fully love about her, right? Your girl is me, okay? It's me, I'm your girl, okay? I'm really just like evolving. And it's crazy because it's like, oh my gosh. Like, whenever I'm like put in a situation, I notice that old me doesn't respond because she's not there anymore. But new me is here. So it's, it's crazy. I'm breaking out of these people pleasing habits for real. I'm noticing that certain people's energy towards me is not the same. It's not the same as it once was. I'm okay with that. I think like in this season, like, the Lord is really just showing me what's real. And I'm learning. Like I said, like I told y'all, like my freshman year when I came into college, I was super chipper and like bubbly. And I still am that bubbly person, but I've definitely learned to like save my energy for the right people because a lot of people just don't deserve that from me. Normally I would most definitely be out here just like doing the absolute most and trying to give and like show love to so many people. But I've noticed that that love just is not fully received in the best way. So it's just like, you know what? I do need to save my energy and I do need to be more giving of that towards myself, if that makes sense. And lately I've just been thinking like, y'all, I wanna upgrade. I wanna be that girl and I'm going to be that girl. I've made the decision that I am going to be that girl. So you know what I'm gonna do? Be that girl. And you know what? There's nothing that anyone or any hater can say to stop me. Cause I'm gonna be that girl. Cause I am that girl. Okay. All right, anyways. Here to tell y'all that I hope that, you know, I don't know if you that girl, that man, that person, whatever. Whatever you wanna identify as. You were that. Be that. Be that, okay? Love yourself. But y'all, let me just tell y'all, your girl is really just trying to thrive out here. We ain't gonna get too deep into it. But lately, your girl has been thinking like, huh, you know, what if I just had a boo thing and things of that nature? And, you know, someone did tell me like, okay, you should write out everything that you want in your perfect man. And so I was like, okay, I'll do that. So I made that list of everything that I want in a French charming. And um, then I looked at that list and I looked at like all of the things that I wanted in this person. And then I was like, wait a minute, am I that though? Am I, if I say I want fill in the blank here, Am I filling the blank here? So that just made me really like just rethink everything and just be like, you know what? 
I have all of these expectations of what I want in my Prince Charming, but like, am I that woman for myself? So it just made me kind of just like take that second to really just like rethink that and just be like, you know what? I want to be that girl, okay? I want to be that girl for me because I owe that to myself. So lately I've just been thinking about like, just the woman that I aspire to be. Girl boss, taking over the world, world domination, okay? Okay, not in that way. There's so many things that I want to give and that's why I've been like very selfish in this season. It sounds kind of like, uh, you know, the juxtaposition. But I don't want to commit any time to anyone else or to anything. And it's not me being like selfish, like, oh, just greedy. There's so many things that I want to do. I want to start my business. We're not gonna get fully into that, but I wanna start my business. I want to create, I want to go deeper with this platform. I want to go deeper with making a series. I want to go deeper into being able to help other people. That's why I've just been feeling like really selfish because like every single time I'm at work, I'm like, why am I here? Like, I don't wanna be here. Like I. I don't want to see your faces <laughs> like no offense but i just don't want to be here all this time that i'm investing into y'all i could be investing into me and not for me not for the sake of oh i just want to do whatever but for the sake of other people because i care about my people i care about my community and i want to pour into other people that is why lately i just been kind of on this like you know what like leave me alone like just kind of i just want to be in my bag i want to be doing my thing and everything else we just in this mindset of like we just want to go we just want to elevate we just want to get to places that we trying to get to and that is that y'all see my robe i know i'm looking good okay anyways um yeah y'all we're learning to love ourselves all over again because your girl was struggling before last year I was truly not believing that I deserved rest, that I deserved to be happy, that I deserved to really carve out time for myself. And so I was staying up super late at night. It wasn't just because of the fact that like, I felt like I didn't deserve to, you know. It was mainly because it was just like, I was in this grind mode. And junior year, I was doing a lot, okay? So I was doing an internship, I was doing school, I was being an RA. I was um, creating content for myself. I was dancing. I was doing all of these other things and I was not managing myself well at all, okay? I was not doing good. Like it was not good for my mental health at all. Like mental health, whoop, down the drain. Like literally was not taking care of myself at all. Like I was going to sleep at like two, three, four, five 5 a.m. I had to get up for classes at like, 9 9:30 and was late all the time <laughs> like it was bad um because there were so many things that i was trying to juggle and it was just not good for me like it was not good for me at all i was i was not being good to myself okay i was not getting sleep and part of it let me tell y'all i don't know why okay i don't know why it's like a curse or something I don't know what happens around 2 a.m. But it's like all the creativity, all the ideas, they spurge. Like they they come alive in the nighttime. And they just be like roaming. They just be roaming and roaming and roaming and roaming and roaming and roaming. And next thing you know, it's 4 a.m. And then I got to get up for class in the next two, three, four, five hours. And I haven't been asleep. I have not been asleep. My real, my Instagram real, looking pretty good but i haven't been asleep so it's just like bro when i tell you junior year i was so over it i was so over it like i was so over it i did not want to go to classes i was not feeling it i just wanted to be left alone bro because i'm just like why am i here because some of these classes i show up for i'm taking notes and stuff and the teacher reading off the slide like you're reading off the slide you're reading off the slide Usually I'm that person in the class who's always participating, who's always, you know, either knowing the answer or asking questions or things of that nature. Like I've always been that student that's like always just kind of on top of it. So it's like 
junior year, all that just went down the drain. Like I was not giving my best at all. Or at least my best was, my best did not look like my freshman year best. My freshman year best? Oh yeah, 4.0. Junior year, it was like, mm, it, it wasn't no 4.0, let me just tell you that. Like it was not no 4.0. Um, yeah. The girl just checked out completely. I was not feeling it. And like, honestly, it just made me so like, just like I just had this growing resentment with college. Cause I'm like, why am I here? Because literally the classes that I need, I'm not taking right now. I'm a theater major, right? And a business administration minor. So why is it that I'm barely touching the surface of my theater classes? And I'm barely touching the surface of my business classes. Like I wanna be learning about how I can manage my money, how I can work through finances, how I can really just survive in this world, how to learn about the economy, how things move, how I can really be elevating. Like that is where my mindset is. So why is it that I'm sitting here learning about the gospels of Jesus? Like I would much rather be learning about that from my people and that that's just, that's just my personal preference. But yeah, like I just was not feeling it. Like I, I was not feeling it. I was not feeling it at all. Okay, I was not going to classes. I was skipping, I was definitely skipping class. Do not follow in my footsteps. Do not, do not say, mm, Jalen said it was okay to skip. No, no, Jalen did not say that. Jalen did not say that. Jalen just gave her her story. And I hope you don't fall into this path as well. Um, Cause no, don't, don't do it to yourself. Let me just tell y'all like, it, I was just so, I was so fed up. I was not feeling classes I did not want to go I was not participating I was literally in the back of the class I looked like I was taking notes I was writing a script about how much I hated college like <laughs> and I'm still working on that script but um was literally not feeling it I was it I didn't have it in me. I did not want to be bothered I had like I was very irritable I was very annoyed I was getting like two hours of sleep each day. I remember like I counted the hours of sleep that I had like during like finals week and it was, it literally like amounted to 10. <laughs> it, that was not good. That was not a good week. It was so bad. Like over the full week, like it was bad. Let me tell y'all, I've never withdrawn from a class before and I withdrew. Casey, if you ever see this video, I love you. I love you, Casey. I had to take costuming with Casey. Y'all, I've never withdrawn from a class, ever. Okay, I've never withdrawn from a class. I've never been that girl. And I was that girl. And I beat myself up for it so bad, but I had to because I was taking stagecraft too. Stagecraft is basically a class where you learn about like the fundamental elements of like theater design for the final and midterm you usually have to like build a set some people call it like a diorama um but i had to make a set model this was a low period of the semester i remember they literally like almost broke me i was in the design lab if y'all know y'all know i was up in the design lab okay for literally the whole day and into the next day. 9 a.m. the next morning, I was still working on that project. When I worked so hard, like I did not get a break. I did not stop working. I stayed up 24 hours plus trying to work on that assignment for stagecraft, for my stagecraft two class. And then I had to turn right back around and do all this at once for my costuming class. And it was just way too much and I just couldn't do it. You might be wondering, Jay, why did you wait till the last minute to start your midterm? Well, this is a 50 minute class and I used all of the class periods I had to work on this project, but I also had other midterms to get done. And Casey like agreed with me. She really fell for me and she was like, no, if you can't do this, like I completely understand, like well, I'll sign the papers for you. And just, she was just so very supportive, thankfully, because like, I've always been a student that has been like super like hard on myself when it comes to grades. Anything less than a B, that's just not gonna happen. Like, no, I can't see that for myself. Came back from my day of finals 
Mind you, y'all, this was after I turned in my stagecraft midterm. I came home, started working on this assignment at like probably like eight o'clock. And I tell you, I just was so tired. I was exhausted. I was literally exhausted to the point where it just hurt. Like I could not take it anymore. I was so done. Stayed up till like 2 a.m. And I was like, oh gosh, like, mind you, our class was for 11 a.m. So that's when the final was due. So I got up at 5 a.m. I was exhausted. I was exhausted. I was so tired and I just kept working. I kept drawing this stuff out and I just kept going. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep trying. I'm just gonna keep doing what I can. I was like, I was literally at the brink. Yeah, have you ever been so tired? Y'all tell me, have you ever been so tired? Like you just wanna cry or you just wanna like, like you just can't like that. Lit that was literally me. Like I was so tired. I just wanted to cry. And then I did cry. Like I literally had a breakdown because literally my final was due within the next, it was like 9 a.m. around this time at this point where I was just like, I can't do this. Um, and I'm like, you know what? Like I can't, I can't do this to myself. Like I'm literally putting so much, literally this is me. Like I'm like, I can't do this to myself. I'm putting so much pressure on myself. Like I literally cannot take this anymore. Like it was just, I was at my breaking point. I couldn't take it. I was like, you know what? This just isn't gonna happen. This is not gonna happen. I had two more hours, y'all. I had two more hours and I couldn't take it. I had a breakdown. I was just like, I can't take this anymore. Like this is too much. I'm doing way too much. And so I went to class and I was like, Casey, I just, I have to tell you like, I couldn't do it. I could not do this. I've been doing so many things and I tried so hard. And I tell you, it was just, it was so much. I had to do that. I had to do a concept statement. I had to do a, I forgot what it was called. I'm sorry, Duncan, if you ever see this, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, it was basically where you like, you draw out all the changes of the set. But yeah, y'all, you girl, is a studious young lad and when i withdrew from that class it just made me feel like uh like it just ah uh, like i was like no i have a w and this doesn't feel like a win oh, i'm so hard on myself i couldn't see that for myself now i'm just like you know what she's good degrees let's keep it pushing <laughs> let's keep it pushing let's wrap it up because at the end of the day it doesn't matter y'all let me just clarify i'm at this point towards like theater majors and people that are not going into the medical field or having to take the bar if you're taking the bar and having to you know go into the medical field your grades matter so just you know act accordingly and it's just like i want to tell y'all that like if you're a student and you're in college like do not beat yourself up too much about grades it's not worth it and after that experience like after i dropped that class and i got that w i was like you know what forget this because and lately like i've just had like a complete mindset shift like it's like girl why why are you stressed like literally this won't matter in the next 10 15 years like you guys there was a lot that i had going on there was a there was a lot that i had on my plate um when i tell you y'all like last semester was awful like it was so it was so bad like it was not a good time. It was just not a good time. I've never withdrawn from a class and I've never thought that I would withdraw, okay? We put so much pressure on ourselves as students like to get the perfect grades and get all this. And it's like, for what? For what? Because at the end of the day, you're gonna go out into the real world and they're gonna just wanna know that you got the degree. They're not gonna be looking at your grades for real again you know act accordingly this does not apply to all people so it's like you know do what you gotta do to get by and i don't want to tell y'all to like completely just slack off and not do any work don't do that Jalen darby doesn't advise that um i don't advise you to just completely slack off y'all like if you've ever been in that position or 
If you ever find yourself like completely paranoid about grades or anything like that, don't, don't, don't beat yourself up. It's really not worth it. Like do what you gotta do. Like we're in college now, okay? It's not like we're in high school and you're you're fighting to get into college. Now, if you, especially I think that you have to like watch yourself, like especially like if you're a bio pre-med major and you're going into the health field and you're going into looking into studying and you're trying to be a doctor like and you know you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to be paying attention to your grades for real but i think that like you just have to like monitor the way that you are going about things don't be so hard on yourself when it comes to grades and you're literally like i don't english major like calm down just get your degree and i'm not gonna say like oh you know just completely slack off and not do your work don't do that please don't do that but um, just do what you gotta do. And if your best doesn't look the way that your best look in another season, it's okay. Just be the best where you are right now and just keep it pushing. And that's something that I've had to tell myself. My best me definitely not look like the way that it did my freshman year. And that's okay. Cause I gotta do what I gotta do. And it's, you know, we gotta keep it pushing, we gotta keep it going. And it's just that. We just put so much pressure on ourselves for no reason. Like. Yes, we want to get good grades. Yes, we want to get A's. Yes, we want to we want to make it through. We want to do what we got to do. Uh, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Like, don't be so hard on yourself. Um, but I think, like, when I reached that point of, like, uh, oh, my gosh, like, I just cannot take this anymore, I was just like, oh, like, oh, well, it is what it is. I did that. Like, I couldn't, literally, I just couldn't do it. There was That was way too much work. And it wasn't, like, it was really nothing that was my fault. It was just like two complex, like two classes that required the same amount of work and energy. I was just taking it at the same time and it was, there was no way that, that I was gonna make it through, especially with all the other things that I was doing. <sighs> the girl was literally just stressing and it was just too much. But let me just tell y'all, um right now i'm in a season of like i'm just trying to make it through like i keep telling y'all i'm just trying to make it through the senior year i'm not trying to be you know I'm, i just want to make it to where i gotta get and that's just that i'm about to stop this video i'm about to end this video but let me just tell y'all your girl is just about to get herself together okay i'm trying to upgrade for sure i'm trying to you know i'm going to get some more clothes that just really like accentuate my body and just make me feel a little bit more smack sheet and that's also another thing y'all when i get dressed up it makes me feel good about myself like it just makes me feel good it just makes me feel like really nice and so i'm excited i'm gonna get some more clothes i'm gonna just you know be on my thing this year okay i got my swagger back I got my swagger back. All right, y'all. Y'all take it easy. I just wanted to tell y'all my story and just tell y'all, like, how I was feeling about that. But, yeah, y'all. Your girl is about to be moving in different ways. And I hope you're ready for the ride because it's only going to get realer, okay? All right, y'all. Y'all take it easy. Y'all be breezy. Love you guys. And I hope that you are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying putting it out there. I have my doubts about it. But, hey. I'm proud of myself for doing this and I'm so happy that y'all are here with me on this journey. I appreciate the love that I have received from y'all, even if it's just a share, even if it's just a view and you just keep it pushing, that's cool. I appreciate it, I love y'all. Y'all take it easy, do y'all thing. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications. Love you, it's your girl Jalen. Be safe, be breezy, and be blessed. Love you, bye.